Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be showing you how I sit there and secure coils down. I use two straps and I crisscross them. The best way to do that is you throw them over one side all the way down and then you go around tighten them up on the other side and do the same thing vice versa. It's going to probably be a real quick video but uh, I'll go and show you what I'm talking about real quick. Let me turn this camera around. All right, so what you can see here is how I did it. This is Vasqueen, so what they use Vasqueen for is if they have uh, a hole in the tarp that uh, it could sit there and keep the product from getting wet. So what I mean is I went ahead and threw this strap across first, and you can see that I did it at an angle, and I X'd it across. I went through and did all these all the way down. The two in the middle down there, I will get to in just a second why I did that, but you'll understand here in a little bit. So you go and throw these across all the way down like the way it is right here. And since we're doing the video, I'm also gonna go and do a load check at the same time. So the reason why you wanna crisscross them is that way there's tension coming from both sides because coils are a circular object and uh, they could be kind of a pain if you don't know what you're doing. Usually what you want to do is you want to have an edge protector on them. The place where I pick these up actually have uh, this pretty thick plastic that they sit there and put on top and that actually works as an edge protector and currently right now I have 10 coils and so with 10 coils I use 20 straps two per coil some people do two two straps on the front two coils uh two straps on the back and one all the way down I would not recommend that especially where coils whether they're palletalized or not they enjoy to move uh, if you give them the opportunity they will and so that's why I do the two straps crossed and uh, I picked this up in Spokane Valley Washington and I'm currently just outside of Pennsylvania on the Ohio side on the 80 and I haven't had an issue once so the reason why I put two right here and the why it's all the way down one uh, down the row is because it distributes the weight equally across your trailer. And yes, you can put them to uh, like that all the way down, but you're putting a lot of weight on your in the middle of your trailer. And with coils and having a lot of weight on the trailer, it will beat up your trailer. And I've actually seen trailers snap in half because that's how they did it. But uh, with this, it distributes the weight and it makes it a lot more smoother of a ride than if you were to just put these down the center of your trailer. Um, when you drive in snow, like I have been today, it actually makes it the weight more distributed and it also puts weight on your uh, steer tires. So steering drive tires and with that you have a lot more traction than uh, what you would if you had most of the weight towards the back. I'll go ahead and uh, now but uh, this is a fairly decent load. I'm grossing out at 80,000 pounds and so it's kind of been a little tricky with the fuel because I've only been able to do about three quarters of pink all the way across and it's a little on the windy side over here. See if we could shut this thing real quick. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's been a little tricky with uh, hauling coils because usually they like to gross you out. So they want to put you at max weight, 80,000 pounds, which is sometimes a challenge. I had this where this one right here and the one 
on the outer side where the two are, uh, those were actually all the way in the back of the trailer, and it put me right about 4,000 pounds overweight on my tandem tires, which you're only allowed to go 34. So we end up having to move this coil up to the front, and that one uh, that was in the very back, move it to the side, and actually worked out perfectly with the weight. And it's right across the board, um, 13 two on my steers, 33,700 on my drives, and I want to say 33 and five, 33, six, I can't remember exactly, on my uh, trailer tires. And with that, it actually worked out quite perfectly. I've ran into quite a bit of snow, and so I haven't been slipping, sliding. It works out quite well. If you got any questions or comments for me, Go and leave it down below. I wouldn't mind answering any questions. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, I would appreciate that too. Y'all have a great day.